This Discover Mirrorless vlog post is brought to you by the Me Photo brand of travel tripods. Hey guys, Steve out here in LA for discoverymuralist.com. I'm out of my kid's playground today, also known as my front yard, where I'm doing a little playing around on my own with some LED lighting. Now, as you know, I've jumped over to using Micro Four Thirds mirrorless cameras as my professional tools this past year, and I'm actually liking it a lot, but I have a little bit of a dilemma. I need to find a consistent lighting source that's going to work to replace, at least give me a similar look to what I got with my strobes for my still photos but this time I need to have it work for videos and still. So I've been jumping around with some of these LED lights, like these battery operated man photos, and some of the cheaper ones I can get on amazon.com. In fact, I even have some of these larger photo deox panels and I'm using the light to vlog right now. As you can see, they look decent, but I'm getting some mixed results. Now I think the truth about LEDs is that they may seem like this great photography tool, but not all LEDs are created equal. And uh, we're seeing some big problems across from even the, the really cheap budget ones to even some of the more expensive ones, the thousand dollar ones. And uh, that is a big issue. Now I'm gonna let my good buddy Will Crockett explain all the big technical details to why this is happening, because he knows far more than I do. But um, he actually has a series out on Shoot Smarter University channel, which you can uh, jump over there and purchase it for like 90 days and watch it as many times as you want. I've seen it about three times now, and it's the called the ABCs of LEDs. Great information. Over 40 minutes packed full of basics to the more technical details and him showing some of how he lights with LEDs to get the look that he's done for 30 years. So <laughs> great information and I was blown away by that. But I wanna give you the simple version and that is that LEDs have color problems. We're seeing manufacturers telling us they're daylight rated, they're not. We're seeing lights that are uh, shifting, uh, sometimes up to a thousand degrees Kelvin. And uh, we're also getting light balance shifts. That's when you have uh, either a magenta or a green color cast. And you're going to see um, some issues with a bunch of LEDs. Now, Will's got a pretty cool method of testing these out at home. And uh, I'm gonna be elaborating that on a future vlog post, but I've tested out all my lights and I can tell you that I'm really surprised. Lights that I thought were pretty good have some issues and lights that I thought had some issues are pretty good. So it's actually amazing how that works out. But uh, this method, and check out Will's videos too because he talks about this method too. But um, you can do it at home, you can make it work for you and you can test out all of the lighting you currently have. I've done everything, even, uh, even my iPhone LED light I've tested out and it has some huge problems there. So, um, but that's, you know, pretty expected. But um, you can also use this to say you want to buy a new light. Jump over there and as soon as you get it in there, uh, try out this method, test it out, see how it is. If it's not very good, you know, send it back. Tell the manufacturer, I need a tool that's going to be up to professional standards. Something that's going to work uh, and be color accurate. Because if it's not color accurate, we really can't use it. Now, uh, I get asked this question quite a bit when I try and explain this to some of my, my photographer friends, and they say, hey Steve, why can't we just use a custom color white balance for uh, this stuff? Why do we need to worry about color shifts and light balance and all that kind of stuff? Well, you don't have to. You can use a custom white balance, like this color checker passport, and it's gonna work up to a degree. Okay, it's not gonna be a perfect solution because our camera sensors are not as sensitive as our eyes. They can't say take uh, an incandescent light bulb in your living room and take the window light that's uh, from the sun and mix the two together without showing some kind of problem. Either it's gonna be too orange or it's gonna be too uh, blue. So you're gonna see that issue. And that's exactly the problem you're gonna have with these LED lights. If you do not correct them using uh, correction gels, you're gonna have an issue. Now, I'm using these photo deox panels, which do have a shift, by the way. They have a problem with the, um, uh, the degrees of Kelvin. So I have an adjustment dial on them, then I can bring it down. Um, but they also have a magenta shift. So I have to learn how to correct them myself, and that's something I'm learning right now. 
Um, but pretty good information, and I definitely encourage you to check out Will's uh, series over there at Shoot Smarter University. Um, that's a great one, but um, I gotta get going. I will talk to you guys again soon, but remember to jump over to discovermirrorless.com where you can get the latest in hybrid photography and mirrorless cameras from our team of hybrid heroes who are vlogging on a daily basis. Also you can jump over to smallcamerabigpicture.com where yours truly does writing and uh, talks about some of the mirrorless cameras that I'm using for my professional uh, photography now. So check it out. I will see you guys again soon. Remember to keep it simple and get out there and shoot, and I'll see you again. Bye. This Discover Mirrorless vlog post is brought to you by the Mi Photo brand of travel tripods.